everybody, this is T with Kate's Crafty Closet with another tips, tricks, and techniques with T, or as I like to call it, T, T, and T with T. So what you're going to need is some cardstock. I already had die cut this one down and had it in my stash. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And you need some painter's tape. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I am just going to basically enough to cover, you know, the cardstock that I'm using down here. I am going to cut down... I'm going to tear off three pieces and to be ahead of game. And we're going to be using some Catherine Pooler inks today. We're going to be using Rock and Red, Mandarin Spice, and Tiki Torch. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my painter's tape, open up my ink. And I'm just going to put that painter's tape across these ink pads to transfer it on there. And then I'm just going to lay it down across my cardstock like this. And I'm going to press it down a little bit. Okay. Make sure I don't grab my next piece of painter's tape. You just basically want to use a low-tack tape. If you don't have painter's tape, you can use um, um, washi tape. You can use any other kind of low-tack tape that you have because you do not want it to stick to your paper and rip your paper and you can do different um you don't have to cover the whole page cardstock you can do it in different directions you can go vertically horizontally diagonally or you can just sporadically put this onto your um cardstock or paper or whatever you're using this is also great to use in your art journal as well so it's Put these to the side. I didn't use a different color, did I, for that tiki torch? See what happens when you don't pay attention? I didn't grab that out. I I do believe I did. Yep, I did not. Same shame on me. Got too caught wrapped up in chatting with myself. Cause you know ain't nobody here but me, right? So, but that's okay. You can cut these down, you can put a sentiment, use a light color, you can stamp a sentiment on it. Basically, you can be a home in there, sentiment strip. So let's just go ahead and we'll peel back so and reveal what we have here. So here we have, we have that one, that's the, the red, then the orange, then of course the orange again, and then the yellow. So that's kind of... What you get, and you can do any kind of color combinations that you want. I will show you a finished one using that color combination as well. So here is that once again. That's the tiki torch, the mandarin spice, and the rockin' red. So different ink pads will do different um, results for you. So I did go ahead ahead of time. And try some other ones. So this one is going to be Distress Oxide. This is Dried Marigold. Um, mustard Seed. And then Brushed Corduroy. To get that look. And each one is unique in its own. Depending on it's like I noticed that with the felt pads. Versus the foam pads. You get a little more give with the foam. as you Otherwise the felt not so much. Next up, we just try regular Distress Ink and Black Soot, Vintage Photo, and Ground Espresso. And that's kind of a result that we got using the painter's tape with that one. And then the next one that I use were Diversifying Clairs, which are a pigment ink. So this is what we ended up getting. We used a Nocturne, Fallen Leaves and pine cone for this color combination. Okay, so you how you get a different look with each one. And the last thing that I went ahead and did is I used Bursamark um, and I heat embossed this one with some gold and some copper embossing powder, which I um, will be doing a video with a card. So I will link that video um, to this one so you can check out the card that I make with that. So that is it for today's tips, tricks, and techniques with tea. 
Um, I thank you all for joining me. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below if you want to share your projects. We also have a Facebook group called Kate's Crafty Closet. I'll have all the links in the description box below for all my social media. Make sure you also check out the website for katescraftycloset.com where you can purchase some of your favorite crafty um, stuff. So thank you all for joining me and you have a crafty day, y'all.